Born in Tokyo, Japan, Taro Tujimoto was set to become a future superstar and an absolute game changer. Getting all the media coverage, scouts and staff described him as being quote unquote one of the fastest players ever seen and one with great hand. It was looking like he was going to tear up the league. Now, I want you to take everything I just said and toss it out the window as Taro Tujimoto never existed. The 1974 draft was an interesting one, as it was privately held. The NHL at the time was competing with the WHA, a league that started up two years prior that were scouting for high-end talent, much like the NHL was. So, the NHL, in fear of the WHA, held a secret draft via telephone that would prevent any outsiders from hearing each team's selections until they were publicly announced at the end of the draft. Clarence Campbell, the NHL commissioner at the time, would announce every single pick every time another selection was made, which made the process both long, tiring, and boring. And so, the Buffalo Sabres GM, in which, was tired of the slow, dragged out procedure. So he decided to have a little fun, and fool the entire league, but he would have never believed that it would actually have worked. Imwich was sent out his PR director, Paul Whelan, to create a fictional player, and Whelan knew he wanted the player to be of Asian descent. He remembered as a college student that he regularly passed a Tujimoto store, and the name just stuck in his head. He called Joshua Tujimoto, the store owner, and asked for permission to use his family name without revealing the club's true intent, as well as asking what some popular first names were in Japanese. And he said, yeah, they wanted to know uh, what a, a Japanese boy's name was. So he said, Taro was a, was a real popular boy's name. The Buffalo Sabres ended up selecting Taro Tujimoto out of the Tokyo Katanas, Katana being the Japanese word for sword. And, lucky for them, the JIHL had no team representing Tokyo at the time, so the prank was complete. All they had to do was get it past Campbell, and to their surprise, it did, making Taro Tujimoto an NHL prospect and the Sabres front office busting out into laughter. Everybody was wondering about this tarot guy. Like, you know, who's this, who's this tarot guy? Who's this tarot guy? And he's describing him. He says, well, we don't have full-time scouts in the Far East, but we had, uh, we had this kid scouted, and he looks like it. We hope he comes to camp. And some writers actually bought it completely. This guy's training in the Himalaya Mountains. He's the fastest skater to ever live. I said, they might even forget about the French Connection. So the media just jumped all over. Tujimoto never came to camp, and eventually the league caught on and Tujimoto was ruled an invalid claim, getting a raise from the draft record books for good. Taro may have been a raise from the record books, but it'll never be a raise from the hearts of Sabres and NHL fans. Tujimoto will forever be known as the best NHL player to never exist, but it'll also be remembered by the Tujimoto family, whose family name now goes down in hockey history. Tujimoto's popularity is still shown to this day as he's loved by the city of Buffalo. Taro Tujimoto's legacy will always live on and will always bring a smile to people's faces as we can only imagine the one guy to miss out on getting drafted just because Taro Tujimoto was selected instead.